I had a very strong um, educational background at Tennessee State. And like I said, the consortium and the MBA program only just built up on top of that. Those were the days when uh, companies had statistics to gain, and I was one of those favorable statistics. I love the summer between the first and second year uh, when you had the opportunity to go to uh, a company and work. Uh, that experience kind of made my uh, choice uh, quite easy when graduation came. Uh, yes, uh, a lot of different entities and companies talked to you, were interested in pursuing you, but I kind of made up my mind on IBM, and IBM kind of made up their mind on me uh, doing that summer program. We were assured of an internship. I mean, it was not it was not uh, something that that uh, was hit or miss. Uh, we we were guaranteed that we would have an. In Matter of fact, we had choices of where we were to go. The companies were under a lot of pressure. Uh, as the federal government was bent on ending Jim Crow uh, to hook one of us so that we could be added to that statistic. And it was a, a, a push. Uh, they weren't so much doing this voluntarily. The consortium and the MBA program made me a better candidate for jobs. Credentials was something that always came up as a a barrier uh, to their hiring when we can't find any qualified. The importance of the consortium was that it overcame that barrier. You were quite sought after and uh, and I know that as a result of that experience when I became a recruiter for IBM I encouraged so many students not to worry about graduating. Now I'm talking about undergraduate students not to worry about graduating in four years but to pursue internships because they were opportunities to learn about uh, companies and also to market yourself to companies. It was absolutely vital in, in terms of those successes. The consortium over the years has been critical in helping business as well as helping the general population of achieve normalcy uh, in our uh, society.